Hello everybody and welcome back to Affinity PvP of Monsters episode 2. Today I'm with Neil. Hey. Hey. And uh, we're working on our base. So um, as you can see we've got a new part of our base down here. Uh, up here is where our old stuff is. All up here still. We haven't transferred any of it down. And uh, yeah down here we're starting our unreadable base. Well hopefully it'll be unreadable. Um, and this bit here is just room for a cow pigment, cow pigment, cow pig spawner that we're going to have. Um, so yeah, to start off this episode we're going to get some, uh, grass on the block drop. I'm pretty sure you can buy it. If not, then we'll have to find it somewhere else. If not, make a sign and put it there. <laughs> Hashtag admin abuse. Yeah. <laughs> Dark no. stone. I don't think there is grass. Try donor shop, there must be. I'm not in the donor shop though. I'll try it. <laughs> I need to get one book because we can just wait for it to spread. Yeah, I'll just go out uh, from spawn and get it, I guess. Okay, guys, so what? we're in the wilderness here and we're just going to get ourselves some grass. So that we can uh, spread it. Okay, guys, here's all the grass being placed. Yay! Spawners! Okay, guys, so I'm here for a little progress update. Uh, I currently got my sounds off because this thing is making a bit of a racket. But uh, yeah, we've made a lot more progress. So, um, last night I spent pretty much my whole night. Uh, working on these walls. So if I come around to this side here, then you'll be able to see that these walls go up 24 blocks, which is pretty insane because that means we're going to have multiple layers on this base. Uh, at, at the start, I wasn't intending on it being that tall, but I ended up doing it and was like, okay, well, this is cool. So yeah, I've kept it. And uh, yeah, that's what this place looks like. So, uh, I've also extended the floor a bit, uh, like out here, this has been extended, and this thing here is working fully now. Uh, well currently we've got this amount of stuff, and if I get up here, and I'll show you what we did. Uh, basically I just hooked this one up so it's on no ticks, and this one up so it's on one tick. Basically, if an animal's moving, they'll get pushed through. So that it spawns when it's back this way. Or it can spawn whenever, really, but it mainly spawns when it's back this way. And then if an animal moves, it will fall through and get cooked. And then this is the little clock that I set up with uh, this turn on button. And the clock is just four ticks on each, uh, each thing. So yeah, that is what we've done for this. Um... Yeah, it's going to be a cool way to get resources, or get food for free. The only problem with it, though, is that uh, it makes a lot of noise, so we might be, end up turning it off a lot. But over here, uh, on the opposite side, we are making our blaze spawner. So we've got four blaze spawners in my hand here. Um, I think two are from drops. One was I've bought, and the other I think I've mined. Um, and yeah, we're going to place them there, there there and there. And we're going to do that right now. Uh, so Neil is in the call right now. Uh, I'm not sure where he's gone. But he's here. So uh, yeah. If he comes back then don't be surprised. Uh, I think we're going to have to place this block here to get up here. Alright, so let's go. First one in. Got to do this pretty quickly. Second one in. Oh god. Okay, third one, uh oh, uh oh, okay. This is gonna be tricky to get these last two in. Last one in. <laughs> Come on, I can do this. Blaze, stop. No, Blaze! Don't do it. Don't do this, Blaze. Don't do this. Come on. Don't do this, Blaze. Yes! Okay. Let's get rid of these torches, let's get out of here. 
Um, I'm not sure if I need to destroy that last one or not. <laughs> I need to place a block there. But we'll destroy this torch just in case. There we go. Okay, now we just need to get out of here. You guys probably can't see a thing right now, other than the blazes. <laughs> okay. Boom. We're out. And it's blocked off. Okay, nice. <laughs> so yeah, that's the trap that we've made. Uh, we might have to modify it. I'm not sure if this thing here is actually going to work. I don't think they can fall down. Uh, we might have to modify that. But uh, yeah, this thing is pretty cool. Okay guys, so I just made some modifications to it and it's working pretty well now. Uh, the only thing I want to do is add some hoppers here. Uh, which I just made right here. So as you can see, um, I just if I just kill some of these, like that blaze board, uh, that blaze rod there, uh, we wouldn't be able to access it unless we put Q and then we move it forward. Ooh, new donator, yay! But anyway, um, so yeah, we're gonna add some hoppers underneath, and then they won't be able to get it, and we will. And as you can just see, I just hit 30 levels, so let's go and enchant. Okay, here we go. Boots. Fire protection. Okay, not bad, not bad. Okay, guys, so I just put the hoppers in, and now it's working magnificently. Just tried to auction a stack, but it didn't work, but yeah. We can now have XP and blaze rods, which is good. Alright, guys, so we're back on Affinity PvP, <clears throat> and we're up the walls again. So basically, um... I just wanted to show you how I'm expanding the walls. Uh, it's pretty simple, really. But, um, yeah, I, d I just feel like I haven't really shown you guys much what we're doing this episode. So, basically, uh, go up to there. So, we're basically making the walls free thick, as I've already explained. And then, like, over here, we're going to be putting water in the gaps. Uh, I'm not sure how, how effective the water is going to be. But, uh, we're going to use it anyway. And yeah, should be good. And basically, we're just digging out around it. Uh, this here, we're also going to need to dig out. I keep on forgetting. And um, we're also going to have to. Well, I'm not sure what we're going to do with this part. I'm not sure if we're going to build a wall here or not. Because uh, we're. I wouldn't say we're running out of obsidian, but we're not. We haven't got lots to spend. And I just realised this bit. This bit here's one. Back, but oh well. Um, yeah, so. Oops. Did not mean to do that. So, I'm gonna keep on expanding these walls. Um, I think this is one of the last walls to go. So, we're, we're getting pretty close to done now. It's going good. And uh, I'll get back to you guys in a bit. Okay, guys, so this section of the wall is done. Um, so, now we're gonna start the roof. So basically, uh, all the walls are done other than that section over this side. Um, but I've highlighted the top of the block. So what we're going to do is we're going to dig out this level here in every way until we find each border. So if we dig across here, we'll keep on going a second until we hit the other side. And here we go. Here's the other side. <clears throat> so basically we're going to have to dig out the whole roof so that we can place obsidian to go on top and then that will be the end of our base. Well not the end obviously but that will be the top. Uh, we might make the obsidian too wide on the top. I haven't exactly uh, decided yet if I want to have it two or one. Um, I might confer with Neo and see what he thinks we should do. I think one will do but uh, yeah we might do two. And then I think on top of the roof, we're going to put water as well. <clears throat> so that stops for any, uh, well, it doesn't really stop for much, but I don't know. May as well. So yeah, um, I, I guess it does stop a couple of surrounding explosions. And I think this is probably not done. Oh, okay, right, I'm going to have to do all of this. Because else I think they can teleport through these corner blocks. And that would be bad. 
So yeah, uh, I'm going to get going with the roof, and I will be back to you guys in a minute. Okay guys, so we are back. Uh, we've dug out the whole top, and now we're going to start placing the water uh, in between... Uh oh In between each of the uh, obsidians. Um, yeah, we just got a little water source pool there, as you could see. And uh, yeah, I'll get back once we're done. Alright guys, so all the water is placed now, uh, other on this bit here that we should need to do soon, <clears throat> but I can't cover that up until we're done. So uh, we're going to start covering this all up, and oh no, I didn't mean to place that on there. Okay, I need to replace that one now. But yeah, I'm going to start covering all of these up, oh maybe not, okay. I'm going to start covering all these up, and I'll get back to you once I make some progress. Alright guys, so as you just saw, I won a Mushroom Spawner. Um, I'll go and put that in the food farm soon. But uh, for now, I just want to update you on the progress. Um, as you can see, me and Neil are digging it out. We've run out of obsidian for this top bit, and uh, we still need to do this bit here. But other than that, we're coming on nicely, and uh, yeah, we're making good steady progress. I think Neil just used a bit of TNT as well, which is how m that much is gone. So yeah, uh, we haven't actually got that much more to dig. And then we basically are just waiting on obsidian to uh, make the floors in the inside and also to finish the roof. So uh, I will update you guys once we get to the next update. Alright guys, we're back, and uh, as you can see... We've made a lot of progress. So uh, I just went for dinner, and Neil was working on it with uh, Serrano. And uh, yeah, we've dug out the whole of the inside now. And all that's left to do is to build these floors, uh, which Neil and Serrano are doing right now. And then we've also got to finish this wall here with Obby either side of this water and that little bit of the roof there. So yeah, we're doing pretty good. Uh, we nearly finished this place. And mm -hmm. now we're just about to uh, transfer all our stuff across. So I'm thinking that we put our uh, storage room on this level here. And, uh, TP deny. and yeah, we'll start moving the stuff up. I just want to check if we've actually got any chests a second. And then, yeah, we'll start moving. Oh, okay, right. guys. Shit. So we are placing down the chest. Um, wait, they could... This one's meant to be trapped. No, sorry, no, no. Sorry, no, no. Fuck. He don't think he knows what to do. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay, there we go. There we go. <laughs> hey. So yeah, here's our chests. Um, we're basically, just gonna have this as like bulk storage for when we raid and stuff, and we'll probably have like a more organized system over this side. Yeah, it's nice to have storage. Uh, we may as well stack it up one more as well. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, guys. So we are doing the storage system still. Um, basically over here, we've got all our chests for iron armor. Um, yeah, we probably will end up filling all of this, to be honest. And then this, I'm not sure what this is going to be yet, but we've got some extra storage here. And then on this side, we're going to have the diamond armor. Uh, so yeah, I'm just placing that right now. And I'll get back to you once I'm done. Okay, so we have finished diamonds. Uh, I've put a bit of a floor pattern in. I added some uh, dark wood, I think it's called, and the glowstone. Yeah, dark wood. And yeah, it's looking pretty nice now. Uh, over here, Neo added some storage for, uh, like, bulk storage when we're reading and stuff. And I'm not sure what's going to go in this gap yet. Uh, we also want a Batman machine, so maybe we could put the Batman machine here. Yeah, I'm sure about that. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, uh, we're making good progress. Uh, we're going to start, like, the main storage on this side now, I think. So uh, I'll get back to you once we do a bit more. Alright guys, so we've made a lot of progress again, as you can see. Uh, we've pretty much finished the whole obsidian now, I just finished the roof, um, and then Serrano and Neil are just finishing this last wall. 
Uh, we had to resort to buying obsidian from the shop, which is rather expensive, but we've got uh, spawners we can sell to try and make that back. Um, yeah. And down here, uh, we decided that we're going to put um, potion machines at the top, and then hoppers down here to fill up these chests. So yeah, uh, everything's going well, and uh, I'll come back to you probably when we start doing these potion things. Alright guys, so I am back, and um, unfortunately we're not going to be able to do the potion machines this episode. Um, I'm going to save that for the next episode, so look out for that one. Uh, but before I leave you, um, first I want to apologise for the shorter episode today, um, and the lack of PvP. There will be next episode, uh, but this episode was more of a concentration on the base. Um, yeah, we've got a couple of heads up here, I don't have the name for this one. And uh, yeah, we've got loads of blazes, but uh, what most significantly has changed is this hole is now gone, and I have moved all the stuff into these chests up here. Uh, I haven't sorted it into the, each chest yet, but um, this chest onwards is full of stuff from the old base. Um, also, me and I'm not sure, I, I, like I did a live stream on here uh, last week, so. Um, you, some of you guys have probably already seen this, but um, in these three chests here, uh, we actually raided. Um, well, not this chest. I'll get onto that chest in a minute. These chests here, though, uh, we actually went. Me and Lucas, we raided uh, Kivix, the orange person in the tab there, and his faction. Uh, so we got a ton of good stuff here, and uh, Lucas didn't really want much of the stuff. He just mainly wanted heads and other rare items like that, and a couple of spawners. Uh, but yeah, so we got a lot of this um, diamond armor and stuff now. Uh, I did use a bit in the live stream. Um, we also got a lot of potions as well, so this is really awesome. Um, it's a good job we got that. And this is from the drop party in the live stream. Uh, so basically I just sat my ult down there like I did in the last episode. And uh, yeah, we got six spawn creepers, four god apples, some prop four books, power fives, diamond ore. Uh, we may as well leave that in there. Some obsidian, diamond armor, some diamonds put in the end of the chest, and the beacon block. The beacon block is cool. Uh, I'm not sure if we're going to use it, because... No, I guess we could use it, but um, we'll have to see. Uh, so let's have a look in our end of the chest here. Another thing we got from the stream... Oh, let's put this into a diamond block. Another thing we got from the stream was we got these two zombie piglets. I was really lucky, because like everyone was mobbing. Like, when I was thrown down the spawners, everyone was going after the zombie big ones spawners. So I managed to get two of them. Uh, we're up to 17 creeper eggs, which is good for raiding. Um, I think I got another case spider and another zombie, I don't know. Yeah, that's what I'm up to on spawners. Uh, some pitch book in here. Some pitch pick in here. Uh, some, I think I got two sets of prop 4 or something now. Uh, nearly prop 4. Need some better pants, but yeah. Uh, things are going well, uh, we're getting up in society, coming of the richest on the server, we've also got a lot of meat and stuff now as well, uh, although this farm has been off most of the time. But yeah, um, hope you guys have enjoyed this episode, um, sorry it is a bit shorter than normal, or, uh, than I would like, uh, but next episode we'll try to get a raid recorded and done. Uh, as I've said, I've done a couple of raids before. Um, I did record a raid, but it didn't really, like, the footage wasn't very good, so I decided to scrap it. But yeah, um, so next episode, hopefully we'll be doing some raiding, maybe the potion machines, and PvP action. So, hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Peace!